just after sunrise here at RSPV Hamwall in the heart of the Somerset levels. We've got a beautifully still but rather chilly morning and I'm here just on the edge of the reed bed hoping to hear one of the most bizarre birds in the UK, the bittern. Now even though it's a crazy hour of the morning, I'm not the only person here. There is a survey taking place right the way across the Somerset levels, trying to work out how many bitterns have territories. And I'm hoping that I might be able to add a couple more to that list this morning. Let's wait and see. So just to put things into context, back in the late 90s, which really isn't that long ago, there were only a handful of bitten breeding in UK wetlands. Just 11 males on territories in the whole of the country and absolutely none where I'm here today. So will I get lucky this morning and hear one? That is the sound of a male bittern and it's known as booming and you can really hear why. That is a deep, low pitched boom. It's like a foghorn. There is nothing like that anywhere else in the bird world. That was really worth getting up early for. Stephen, you're lucky enough to live really close by. So is this a is this a regular patch for you to come and see Bitten? Absolutely. Well, it's a regular patch to come and hear Bittens. <laughs> and very occasionally yeah. we see them. You know, they're not a bird that you see very often when you do it's really, really special. And that sound, I mean, it's it's very hard to describe if you've never heard it before, but it's sort of, it, you almost feel it inside you, don't you? It's so low and so boomy and it travels so far. Yeah, the bitten sound carries further than any other British bird. I think it's one of the loudest birds in the world. You can hear it from up to about two or three miles away. And it travels across these reed beds, doesn't it? That's why the male is producing that, that sound. Yeah, it's like all other bird sounds. It's doing it to see off rival males and attract a mate. And numbers wise, how are bitterns doing at the moment? We're getting into the 30s and 40s in terms of booming males. Now that also means there's an equal number of females around, of course. Now to put that in perspective, back in the 90s, I think there were about a dozen booming males in the whole of Britain. There are now more bitterns in Somerset than there are even in Norfolk and, and Suffolk. And, and again, when I moved down here 15 years ago, there were no breeding bitterns. And that year, I think the first year we were here, there were one or two, and now we've got dozens of them. I don't think we've been lucky enough to capture one on camera this morning, but we have seen them flying over the reed beds, but they are very elusive, very well camouflaged, and they really don't fly for that long, do they? No, they tend to come up you suddenly notice a brown bird and often it's a marsh harrier or perhaps a heron and then you realise it's a bitten and by the time you've realised it's a bitten, <laughs> it's gone, it's gone down straight again. down yeah. again. But they do have a very distinctive flight. They're quite a hunched up bird. They're quite compact. Yeah, they're big, mm. but they're not as long legged as the heron. So you can pick them out. What a fantastic morning here at Hamwall to hear those male bitterns booming and then we caught a glimpse of one just flying over the reed beds. It's been an absolute treat. And early indications from our survey are showing that we have upwards of 30, maybe even 40 male bitterns booming across the Somerset levels. And just to think that a couple of decades ago there wouldn't have been any. Just goes to show that if you create the right habitat, bitten numbers will indeed boom.